Okay, hold on. They go so fast, I can't do it. Oh, hey. What's up, my beautiful babe? How are you doing today? Oh, this? Oh, this is nothing. This is just my live your extra life merchandise. Oh, what? What was that? Oh, where can you purchase it? Oh, well, I'm glad you asked. You can actually just go to fanjoy.co slash Brad, or you can click the link in my description box right below. It's right there. Just click that link. Oh, what? Oh, does it come in more colors? Yeah, actually, it comes in this gorgeous, fabulous, chic pink color. Um, it's like kind of the color of the wall back there. Huh, girl, it is cute or whatever. Oh, and yes, we have phone cases too. So shop at fanjoy.co slash Brad. Get yours today, honey. <laughs> so you guys really loved my last hairdresser following a DIY braiding tutorial video. And if you haven't seen that video yet, it'll be linked below, obviously. I, it was honestly one of the funniest videos I think I've ever made on YouTube. So I'm back here today to do some more of it. I'm gonna torture myself once again, but today I picked a much more simple tutorial. So the hair tutorial I'm gonna be following today is by Carly Bible. Yes, the glamorous, chic, gorgeous Carly Bible. What's up, girl? How you doing? You cute or whatever? And her video is called How to Dutch slash French Braid Your Own Hair. So listen, girl, let me give you a little background for this. I am a braiding pro, okay? Not to toot my own horn, but like toot toot, you know? No, but seriously, I've been braiding since I was maybe like five years old. I remember doing cornrows on a mannequin head when I was five years old. So I can definitely, definitely, definitely braid. But here's the thing, I have never tried to do French braids on my own head when I used to have long hair. No, that's a lie. I've done one French braid, there's a video about it, but it was not good and my hair was very, very short. So oh, I've never actually tried it on hair with like length like this. So this is gonna be extremely interesting. I have a lot more confidence in myself for this video than I did in the last video, <laughs> that is for sure. That shit I tried to do in the last video was so complicated. I don't think anybody can actually do it to themselves besides that girl in the video. So I'm gonna try something a little less advanced today, just regular French braids down each side of my head, and we're gonna follow Carly Bible's tutorial, and I'm ready for it, girl. So if you're ready to, let's get it started. Hi, everybody. Thank you for Hi. watching. So this is my second <laughs> time around filming this tutorial for you guys. So I did it all myself, and then when I was looking back at the footage, um, I feel like the what angles happened? of me doing my hair was kind of hard to tell what I was doing. Oh. I can do these braids without even looking in a mirror, which is so crazy because how? I swear I was one of those people that had no idea how to do French braids, I didn't know how to do a fishnail braid, and I always was like, how can people do it on their own hair? I thought it was the craziest Seriously? thing. It wasn't until <laughs> it is crazy. Ago, I just was laying in bed, and I was just trying to figure out how to do a fishnail braid, that I got like really, really, really into braids, and... Little did I know, with a little bit of practice, I can do it on my own hair. So, I hope you guys can follow along with well, we'll see, Carly. pick up some new we'll tricks, see. and add some cool hairstyles to your list of to-dos. So, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial, and if you want to learn how I got this hairstyle right here, please keep watching. I'm ready, Carly! So, first, you want to want to part your hair. It's all about preference, whether you want it directly in the center Calm. or a little bit off to the side. Okay, mine... I always do it just like a drop off to the side, just because that's how I prefer. Okay, cool, but I me like to too. Part the top first. I can't change this part. This is like laid flat. Also, really quickly before the tutorial started, I brushed my hair. You want to make sure your hair is brushed and has no knots in it because if you have any knots in it, it'll make it ten times harder. Believe got me, you. I got tried you. both ways. So once you get that part straight, you're going to want to drag it to the back. Again, I don't have a mirror. That's my biggest mistake whenever I do this. No mirror. Oh yeah, that's okay, so once you've parted your hair, oh, yeah. if this is like your first time doing it, maybe ask someone if the part is straight in the back. Hey, it's this always straight? harder to get it straight on the back if you're doing okay. it on yourself. My imaginary friend over here. It's not just seeing it, so. So next you're just gonna take a clip and then clip whatever side you are not doing. Okay, Queen. So the first thing okay, you're gonna queen, do hold is on. spray your hair with either a lightweight hairspray or some water. I don't have water. either actually <laughs> at the moment, so I'm using water. my facial spray actually. I love that water. That's cute. 
I can, uh, is that a Jer- is that a New Jersey accent or a New York? I think it's New York. Yeah, New York. Okay. Got that shit clipped out. To get it a little damp and to keep it really smooth. All right, got my this water. This will make it a lot easier for you when you are braiding it. So just a little recommendation. So the first thing that I always do oh, when I start out my braids is I grab like a little section of hair from the top, just about this much. Um, you just want to smooth it out oh. and then create three sections like that. So to do oh, it, on, way, you to hold do on. It, they go so fast. I can't do it. Why am I like wetting this so it's dripping? I don't know. Carly, what am I doing? Okay, I feel like that's good. I feel good about this. Okay, <laughs> great. Ready. All right, we got three hairs. Front. Wait, I'm kind of feeling good about this. Like last time I did this, I was so tired and like not about it. And today I'm like ready for it. So I'm feeling good. I'm feeling confident. Just take each end piece and cross it under the middle. For a regular French braid, it's okay. just over the middle. So it's really not that big of a difference for those of you who don't know. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this left piece. Wait, put wait. It underneath the middle piece. Okay. Wait, left. Cross it over. Hold on. And then the right. Left piece. Oh my God. It's so confusing backwards. Left piece. W which arm is left? This arm. Okay, great. Under the middle. Okay. Okay. No, wait. I got it. I got it. Oh my god, I got it. Okay, wait. Right piece under the middle. Girl, I feel good. My arms hurt again. Once again, they really hurt. It's been like two seconds. I don't know. Girls just have really strong arms, apparently. Right piece and cross it under the middle piece. Wait. <laughs> so now we're going to do the same thing with this. Piece, we're gonna grab another section of hair. Okay. Oh wait, section. I wasn't grabbing hair. Cross it underneath the middle piece. Pull it tight. Oh, my heart. And then repeat on the other side. So this is this piece. We want to grab another section. Okay. Put it under the middle. <clears throat> and pull tight. And you just want to. How do girls so we're stand having their section. face itchy all the time from their hair? Like, when I had long hair, I was just like, dude, get off my face, bro. Wait, is that a- oh my god, it's no- <laughs> I thought I was doing so good, and then I touched it, and I was like, what the f*** is this? Can you guys see that? Yeah, I feel like that doesn't- oh, wait, is that good? <gasps> wait. Wait. Oh, no. Grabbing a piece. It's just so much hair to deal with. I can't, this wig just has so much hair on it. I feel like I'm getting somewhere though. <sighs> She's like, just if you're singer. Piece and it's not smooth, just smooth it with your little brush. She's just looking all pretty Over or whatever. And I'm just like sweating. Too many bobby pins. Full beat, she's in full beat right now. How is this even possible? Oh, I, I always like to do these braids extra I missed tight. the whole chunk. That way I can pull them apart later on, so. Totally. It just comes totally, out Carly, totally. Totally. All right, this is like my, my like warm up braid. The other side will be better, okay? My warm up, it's, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be perfect. Wait, is this a braid? Hold on, I'm looking in the mirror. There's an actual braid on my head. I completely thought it was just a bunch of knots. Wow, I'm so impressed with myself right now. Oh my God, I, I deserve an award. The other side's gonna be so much better. Just wait. Oh, so All right, this is all I got. Hair you have, there will be a hair tie that will match. So then I have like some shorter pieces that stick out. You just gotta like tuck them in. And it'll stay. And then what I like to do is I like to slowly pull apart the braid just That's to not widen happening. it. And if you do it super <laughs> Wait. tight at first. I just looked in my viewfinder. I look so dumb. <laughs> what else is new? Kim Kardashian who? Kim Kardashian who? I'm stealing your image, Kim, okay? You guys, it's Honestly, not that bad. You have to say it's not that bad. I mean, it's a little rough around the edges, but it's not that bad. <laughs> the next size is gonna be 
so much better. I'm gonna try even harder on this side. I'm ready, Carly. And we're gonna do the same thing. Hold on, hold on. I don't know if this is helping me or making it worse, but if Carly says to wet it, a bitch gonna wet it, okay? I wanted to add is when you're doing it on your own hair, it's kind of all about how you grip it. I can oh. do it without even looking in a mirror because the way that you grip it, you can just feel that it's going the right way. So totally. I take my hand that I'm holding my hair with, the opposite hand, I'm wrapping around my head, and that's what I'm gonna use to hold the hair. We're gonna take the first one and put it under the middle. The right one, and then put it over the middle. And then we're gonna grab a small piece of hair. Oh, her hair's behind her back. Okay, middle. I see. Small piece of hair under the middle. Where is. Oh, God, this is good. This is starting off bad. I can only do this on somebody else's head. This is ridiculous. My arms are going to break off. I think it's better if I just close my eyes. You can see as I'm going, I'm like brushing through my hair. Even though my hair was fully brushed, it gets naughty when you're doing this. Oh, so, so it's not just me? Just keep that in mind. <laughs> oh, there's a bite pin in this wig. <laughs> just hidden and right in there. <laughs> Probably from the last video. <laughs> This is not better than the last one. This is worse. Oh wait, actually, feels kind of good. I don't know why, like when I'm breathing it, it feels just like the worst thing in the world. <gasps> but then when I look at it, it's like not that bad. That's for sure. You know what's funny? <laughs> if you have, if you haven't noticed yet, every time I have a knot in my hair, I'm like, <laughs> it's not even my real hair. I don't even feel the knot. <laughs> It's just like the noise of having a knot makes me think that it's my own head and I'm like, ow, it hurts. Even though like it's not even my real hair. All right, this, oh wait, actually not that bad. By the way, you guys, if you want a dope brush, this is not hashtag sponsored, but like I actually really love this brush. It's like all bamboo and I'm like really into natural shit. So if you want a good brush, I'll link it below. Guess who finished? I did. This is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully learn some new tricks. Let Thank you, Carly. Let me know if you, A, try it out, because I would love to hear that you actually tried it out. And I did. For you. And B, if you've never been able to do this before and you do learn from this tutorial, also let me know, because that makes me so happy. Me, and Carly, I did I it. Like it's really hard. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you so much. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye, Carly. <laughs> Oh, this is cute. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you Carly for that amazing tutorial. You are so pretty. I freaking love you, you're amazing. Um, but <laughs> I'm gonna have to give myself a five out of 10 for this one, okay? I'm not even gonna do a full twist around because, okay, maybe I will. It's a disaster in the back, okay, get ready. Oh no, it's so bad, isn't it? I really tried. I swear, if I had a head in front of me, I could slay this braid. But doing it on your own head is just so difficult. And I'm sure most of you guys out there can relate to that. <laughs> and if you guys out there are not subscribed and you're new to my channel, definitely, girl, hit the subscribe button, okay? <laughs> and then hit the bell icon next to it because that that button is dope. It'll give you like notifications when I post and like, why wouldn't you want that? Also, there's like another button. Um, it's the like button. That button is super cool too. You can press that for me and it'll really help me out. So I feel like you should definitely do that. Okay, that's all. That's all I'm gonna say. And again, you can shop my Live Your Extra Life merchandise at fanjoy.co slash brad. The link is also in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Don't forget to live your extra life and I will see you all next time. Peace.